What's up everyone, my name is Sean Hodgins and welcome back to my channel. So the company Banggood actually sent me a Creality Ender 3 3D printer to make a video on, which is awesome and I couldn't be happier because I cannot wait to actually stop using the Annette A8, at least for my main 3D prints. I'll probably still use it for some little things, but I'm excited to have something a little more put together and for the price, this thing seems pretty sweet. So speaking of putting things together, Let's get this one going and we'll do some test prints. Let's go. So here's everything that came in the box. This was one piece it's assembled. It's a nice uh, extruded aluminum with a little the microcontroller that I'm sure is in there, and the extruder, and we got a power supply, this is the LCD screen, uh, just some parts there. I haven't looked at the instructions yet. Some fasteners and the other aluminum extrusions. So I'm impressed with this. Uh, it only took about an hour to assemble and that was with filming and never having looking at the instruction before. So I'm impressed with the build quality and how easy it was to put together. The Annette A8 is definitely a lot more steps, more complicated and not as nice of a machine in terms of build quality. Haven't run any prints yet, but I happen to have the Benchy from when I first assembled the Annette A8 and printed something. So I've got a brand new spool of filament, red filament here. I'll throw it on, print that Benchy, and we'll compare the two so that we get a baseline comparison. So I am incredibly impressed with the first print. This is literally the first print that came off of this printer and it is really impressive compared to what came off of the first print basically of the Annette A8, which I don't even think it was the first print because I had like issues. So I can't really recommend the Annette A8 anymore. This printer is amazing for the cost. It's super easy to put together and like I mentioned, they sent me this to make a video on it and there's uh, an affiliate link down below that if you want to get your own, if you click that link, they know it came from me and that will maybe entice them to send me more cool stuff and tools that I can use towards my projects. So yeah, maybe just click the link anyways, even if you don't want one. But if you do want one, this is actually a really great printer and I'm going to do a couple of little mods to it, but it really seems like it doesn't need much. One thing is that the spool holder that came with it actually doesn't fit in my like Amazon filament spool holder. It's like the exact same size, so it doesn't go over. So I'm going to have to 3D print one of these and it goes up here. So that's why the filament's back there. But uh, that's really not a big deal. I could probably even shave this down a little bit and it would fit through. It's like right on the edge of fitting. So yeah, hopefully I will be releasing some projects soon. I know this is kind of like a filler video, but uh, 
I had to get this video out. It was just kind of sitting there and I wanted to get the printer set up because I have some things I want to print and I know it'll be way better than my other printer, which will probably get, still get some use, but like this seems like the prints will be much better. Anyways, uh, I just finished up my HTC module Kickstarter and another project that was uh, taking up a lot of time. I've got some completed projects, I just haven't ordered the parts yet, so that's what I'm waiting on. Anyways, everyone, you know the deal. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And as always, be good and have a good day.